What's up everyone? My name is Melanie and in this Cinema 4D modeling quick tip, we're going to be learning how to get quick edge selections for beveling models. When I first learned to model, I was selecting every edge I needed to bevel individually. And of course this works, but you can massively speed up your workflow by selecting all of your edges at once. In order to do this, with our object selected, we want to first go into edge mode. Then we want to access the Fawn Break selection, which we can find here under Select, or we can use the hotkey, which is UN. And you can see all of the edges that the Fawn Break selection has detected have turned blue. So to actually select these edges, we want to choose this option to Select All. Now we have all our edges selected, which you know because they turned yellow. Now this isn't perfect, and sometimes this will miss an edge, depending on how complex your model is, so to fix this, you can either mess with the Fong angle under options, or usually I just double check my model and manually select or deselect edges if I need to. So with all our edges selected, we can bevel as usual. You can see without beveling, when we turn on the subdivision surface, it doesn't keep our cube shape at all and rounds it way too much. Adding a beveled edge will just give us nice rounded edges. We can access the bevel tool under mesh, create tools, or I always like to try and stay out of these menus and use hotkeys, and the bevel hotkey is MS. And if you just hit M, your modeling hotkey menu will pop up and you can see what all of your modeling hotkeys are. So you can just search that way to find a hotkey if you forget. Now that we're in our bevel, we can adjust these options. And chamfer will introduce more edges and rounding, but typically for subdivision surfaces, you use a solid bevel. Now to set a solid bevel, we can either type a value in this offset window and hit apply or enter, or we can left click and drag in the viewport to set our bevel. And now we have these nice bevels and these really nice rounded edges. Now you may have to go into your model and clean up corners or play with your bevel mitering options, which you can see change these corners. And typically, you'll have a little cleanup whether you use default or uniform mitering. It's just preference on which way works better for you. But this will give you a great place to start with beveled edges, and it was pretty quick to do and pretty quick to select all of your edges. If I wanted to clean up the corners of this model, you can see we have a triangle here. And it may not matter, but if you're a perfectionist like me, I would definitely want to clean this up. So I can just take the knife tool, which is M, K, cut an edge to this corner, then use MO to slide the point down to create a nice corner, and dissolve these edges using MN, and then turn this corner into quads. And then I would repeat this for the other corners, and now I have a really nice beveled model. And that is how you quick select edges for modeling, and also a little bit on how to bevel your models. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Melanie. You can find me at MoGraphMel across all the social media channels. I hope you all have an awesome week. And until next time, happy animating.